My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. We just covered sleep mode. In this lesson, I will introduce you to deep sleep, which is a far more effective power saving mode of the device. While it saves more power, deep sleep has fewer options for waking up. In sleep mode, all of the hardware continues to run and any of the interrupts wake the device up. Deep sleep shuts down most of the hardware and so those interrupts cannot fire. One exception to that rule is the serial communication block, which has an enable wake up from deep sleep option in the I2C mode. We're going to use that to implement a similar program to the sleep example, but you'll see much greater power savings. Create a new project, again, using the pre-populated templates. Edit the I2C component to use the easy I2C mode and check the wake up from deep sleep option. You cannot use the UART this time because the serial bridge is going to be used by the I2C. So go to the My Design tab and set up one of the output pins to drive an LED. Make a copy of this component so that you can control all three LEDs. All the other tabs can be disabled because we're not using their functionality. In the DWR file, pick the I2C and the RGB pins for your kit. Then generate the application to build the API functions. In C, you need to start the I2C and set up the buffer. Make it a single byte buffer that is writable from the master. In the main loop, flash the LED a few times before going into deep sleep with the CYSYS PM deep sleep function. One last thing you'll need to do is to put the I2C into a sleep mode such that its wake up from deep sleep option can operate correctly. The component generates two functions for this, sleep and wake up. These need to be called immediately before and after the call to put the whole device to deep sleep. There's no timer to wake the part up this time. You will need to go to the bridge control panel and write a byte into the buffer to wake it up. You'll see a much more impressive power drop when you go into deep sleep as compared to sleep. To extend the project, use the data written from the control panel to change the amount of time the device is active. Just send the number of seconds and use that number in the CY delay function. As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com.